Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to help you create IPF files for your iOS devices using Visualizer. Before tapping into the process, I would first like to briefly introduce what an IPF file is. An IPF file is the iPhone application archive that gets installed on your iOS device. This is the executable file which is finally submitted to App Store or used for enterprise distribution. Now let's get into the process of generating this file using Visualizer. The process of IPA generation is a bit lengthier than the process of APK generation and it comes with a set of prerequisites. These prerequisites include having a Mac machine with Xcode and command line tools installed, physical or remote presence of the Mac machine, Xcode path set to a value as displayed on the screen, 10 digit developer team identifier from Apple. For a few additional prerequisites, you can refer the documentation link provided in the description section. For the IPA generation process, we select a sample app called Employee Directory. Launch Visualizer and select New Project option from File menu. In the New Project dialog presented, select Use Sample App and click on Choose. From the Sample App list, select Employee Directory and click on Choose. This will start importing the Employee Directory project into your Visualizer workspace. This process might take some time. Once the project is imported, we need to configure Visualizer with details of Xcode. Go to Emulators and Devices configuration in the product menu. From the items provided in the left side of the dialog, expand Kony Visualizer, Devices and select iOS. In the dialog box, click on Fetch Xcode Details button. This functionality will store the Xcode details present in your machine into Visualizer. Next, provide the keychain password and the development team ID in the respective fields. Development team ID is something that is generated from the Apple developer portal. In the portal, under membership tab, you can find the team ID. Copy the team ID and paste it in the development team ID text field in Visualizer. Once all the values are set in Visualizer, save the details and click on OK. Now we select the build option from the product menu. Select iOS native as the channel and click on build. This will prepare the visualizer build for IPA generation. Once the process completes, we generate the IPA by going to product menu, launch emulator, iPhone and generate IPA. The IPA generation process starts and Visualizer internally launches Xcode. Xcode is the tool that actually generates the IPA file and redirects it back to Visualizer. You can go back to Visualizer and check the progress of IPA generation in Visualizer console. Once the IPA is generated, Visualizer notifies you of the same using an alert. You can go to the Visualizer console and found out the location of the generated IPA. Click on the local path in Visualizer console to open Finder at the containing folder for the IPA. You can locate the employee directory.ipa file there. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you.